In this lecture, we will discuss about different types of steroids and sterols. First of all, we will discuss about steroids. What is a steroid? Steroid contain a cyclic nucleus which resembles a penon 3 nucleus and it consists of ring A, ring B and ring C and to these penon 3 nucleus attached a cyclopentane ring which is designated as ring D. So you can see here in this figure this is these three ring A, ring B and ring C is resemble a penon 3 nucleus and to this attach a cyclopentane ring which is designated as D because it is a cyclic structure and it contains car five carbon. Pentane means five carbon. So next steroid nucleus represents saturated carbons unless specifically shown as double bonds. So all these carbon, this is carbon one, two, three, four. You, you, you can see here these represent a saturated carbons because saturated carbons means it have no double bond between carbons atom. So if the double bond is present, it will be specifically shown as a double bond. Next, uh, the methyl side chains, which is attached, uh, which is shown as a number 18 and 19, and it is attached to carbon 10 and carbon 13 in the ring are shown as a single bond. And at carbon 17 in the ring, steroids contain a side chain. So this is this is the carbon ring numbering carbon 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So to 10 carbon 10, a methyl group is attached, which is designated as number 19, and it is shown as a single bond. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. At carbon 17, a side chain will be attached in the ring, and this is Another methyl group is attached here at carbon number 13 and it is shown as 18 and as a single bond. So if the steroid has one or more OH group and no carboxyl group, it is called a sterol and its name will end as an OL, for example, stigma sterol. So if a type of steroids which is which contain one or more OH group, it will be specifically named as sterol. <clears throat> steroids are a very diverse group of compounds and hundreds of steroids are found in plants, animals and fungi. Next is all steroids are manufactured in the cells from sterols named lanosterol. Lanosterol is a tri tetracyclic triterpenoid. It is a type of terpenes, a secondary metabolites found in plants from which all animal and fungal steroids are derived or another type known as cycloartenol. It is also a triterpenoids, a starting point for the synthesis of almost all plant steroids. So these are the precursor molecule for the formation of steroids, animal and fungi and plant steroids. Next, lenosterol and cycloartenol are derived from the cyclization of triterpene named squalene. So squalene is a triterpene which is a type of terpene and it is, is a precursor molecule for the formation of steroids. So these lenosterol and cycloartenol both are formed from the squalene cyclization when the squalene structure is uh, converted into a cyclic structure. So it results in the formation of different types of steroids. Squalene was originally obtained from liver isle of shark and, and also in other fishes and is also obtained in, from different types of plants. Next is types of steroids. The first important one is cholesterol. It is the most abundant animal steroids and it is derived from Greek word coal, which means bile because it was first isolated from bile. Biochemically, cholesterol is very significant because it functions as a precursor molecule of a number of steroids. From cholesterol, a number of steroids are 
obtain. So it is very significant. It is distributed in all cell, but particularly in nervous tissues. So cholesterol is very important in the nervous tissue, but is present in all cells. The major constituent of plasma membrane cholesterol is majorly present in plasma membrane and also plasma lipoprotein and act, act as a transport molecules there. So these are very important functions of cholesterol. Cholesterol often found as cholesterol ester, where the O hydroxyl group on position three in the ring as is typified with a long chain of fatty acid. So if fatty acid is present at carbon three, which contain a OH group, it is known as cholesterol ester, and it is often found in this form. The nonpolar rings and hydrocarbon chains are hydrophobic which means it is insoluble in water. The OH group is however hydrophilic, it is soluble in water, but it is very, uh, but overall the cholesterol molecule is hydrophobic, which means that it is insoluble in water. You can see here, this is the structure of cholesterol molecule, and this is the carbon three in the ring. You can see it contain OH group. This OH group is a polar head. In this structure you can see it is a polar head and the rest of the molecule is non-polar. So overall cholesterol is a non-polar molecule. So you can see here this is a steroid nucleus and this is the side chain. It is attached to carbon 17. This is the side chain present in cholesterol. Another important type of Steroid is 7-dehydrocholesterol. It is present in skin and it is converted into vitamin D3, which is called calciferol, when the skin is exposed to UV rays. So when the skin is exposed to sun, UV light, this 7-dehydrocholesterol present in the skin is converted into vitamin D3, which is called calciferol. Next type is ergosterol. It is an important type of steroids present in fungi and yeast, and it is important as a precursor of vitamin D because when ergosterol is irradiated with UV light, the ring B structure present in ergosterol form vitamin D2, which is known as ergocalciferol, and this compound has the vitamin D activity. So this is the structure of ergosterol. You can see here, a double bond present is also shown. And this, when ergosterol is irradiated with UV rays, this ring B structure open, and it form white ergocalciferol, which has vitamin D activity. The next type is plant steroids. It includes steroids, alkaloids found in Solanaceae family, also cardiac glycosides, which is found in different types of digitalis species, and phytosterols, for example, stigma sterol and beta cytosterol, and bracino steroids, which is contain several plant hormones. So these are different types of plant steroids. This is a typical example of sigma sterol present in plants. You can see here, this is ring one, ring two, it contains double bonds. So double bond is shown between five and six carbon, ring three, ring four. And so you can see here, the numbering is also given. Carbon number 17 contains the side chain. This is the side chain. Carbon 13 contains methyl group. Carbon 10 contain methyl group. So this is a typical example of stigma sterol found in plants. Sterols also serves as a precursor for a variety of products with specific biological functions, such as adrenocortical hormone. So adrenocortical hormones, which is Example is aldosterone and cortisol are produced by adrenal glands present in kidney. 
Aldosterone enhances reabsorption rate of sodium, iron, and kidney tubules, and increasing potassium ion or hydrogen ion secreted by the tubule. So this is an important function of aldosterone. It enhances the absorption rate of sodium ion, the kidney tubule, and increase secretion of potassium and hydrogen ions by the tubule. Cortisol regulate key metabolic reaction, which, is, which occur inside the body. Next is sex hormones, which include testosterone, which is a male sex hormone, and progesterone and estrogen, which is a female sex hormone, hormone and it play an important function both in male and females. So these are different types of steroids. Next one is bile. Bile salts, for example, glycocholate and torocholate. These are examples of bile are polar derivatives of cholesterols. And these are released from gallbladder. These are released from gallbladder into the small intestine. And the function of bile salts is to emulsify the dietary fats and to make it readily available to digestive lipases. So it emulsify the dietary fats which is which will after the actions of bile salts it is really accessible to digestive lipases and it starts at digestion inside the small intestine so these are different types of steroids and hope you like the video thank you for watching